Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. It is Wednesday, the 7th of July. It's around quarter to eight in the evening and I am on the Blackpool South Promenade on this glorious evening. It's not very busy, but I expected it to be even quieter because the football's on, so I thought everybody would be at home watching that. So it seems I'm not the only one who isn't interested in football but anyway that's fine let's take a walk down the prom and just appreciate how beautiful Blackpool looks on a summer evening let's go I'm going to turn round and show you behind me where it is South Pier I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see because the sun is super duper bright there you go, you can see South Pier there. So I'm going to carry on doing a full 360 pan around so you can see everything. And I'm going to head on down towards Central Pier. I may not walk all the way to Central Pier. I am a little on the tired side, I have just been to work. There we've got the Viking Hotel, the talk of the coast. It looks like it's boarded up at the bottom. Wow, so it looks closed. And then on the end of this terrace, we've got the Queen's Hotel. That looks very regal and stately, doesn't it? Just that nice red brick with that sandstone coloured surrounds on those magnificent bay windows. Yes, I like that building. I do like so many of the buildings in Blackpool. We've got so many interesting and beautiful buildings to look at. Built in 1898. And I know that because I've just read it on there. So if I can zoom in and if my camera is kind and focuses, there you go, you can see it as well. So 1898, look at that, I managed to keep it relatively steady and focused. So yeah, that is the Queen's Hotel. Let's get a little look at the sun. Let's zoom in there, get that nice orange sunset colour on the horizon. Beautiful. But it's beautiful to look at on the video, I'm sure. It's not so beautiful when it's blinding me, shining right into my eyes. But anyway, let's go and keep going. It is nice to see the hotels open up again. I mean, we've had a year of being careful and it's paid off. And now, Blackpool is opening up and it really is great to see. Oh, lots of things to see. There's a tram coming. I'm sure we'll see that in a bit as it comes past. We've got all this grass down here. Before the new prom was built, there was no grass down here. All this got added when they built all this new promenade and this little slope here leading up to here and all the grass that is all flood protection for this south shore area because this place has flooded more than once in the past let's look at this tram going past now look at my shadow i look tall i'm not really tall anyway sorry about that little break in the video my memory card was just full and the camera switched itself off and I didn't notice for a few seconds so that's why there appears to be that weird little break in the video and oh look my favourite thing when somebody thinks it's okay to walk down the street playing obnoxiously loud music but everybody else has to just endure hopefully that won't get me pulled up for copyright. I should be alright because I managed to talk over it. So we should be good folks. There goes the tram. 
you've got all this green area here now this is wonderful it's like being in Lisbon just all this grass there's Waterloo Road but just around the corner Notrianis on the right hand side then the Hearts building which I filmed very recently over on that side is the Dutton Arms and we are going to continue on down the prom for a bit nice little evening summery walk there's the Waterloo Road tram stop Waterloo Road the good thing about Blackpool trams is wherever you're staying on the prom or around you can pretty much get a tram to drop you very close to where you want to be there goes the Lando, just nice and pink, just clip clopping past. And that little car was adorable with all the hearts on. Some posh apartments there. I was going to go for a walk on the beach itself, but I really don't want sand in my shoes. Maybe tomorrow. It's my day off work tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to motivate myself and do a bit more filming. We shall see. That tiny little street there is Britannia Place. That is already on the streets of Blackpool series. And at the end of that street, you can see the Sun Inn, which is a magnificent looking building, very iconic building that, beautiful. That is on Bolton Street. Bolton Street also already on the streets of Blackpool series. Bolton Street is a great street to film really interesting street to walk down it's kind of longish and very narrow and bits of it seem more like an alley than a street but yeah it has a lot of interesting features there we can see the illuminations just festooned over the promenade it's insane to think that it won't be that long now till the Loomis come back on again. I mean, we're in July, August, September. Don't they come on in September? Is it September or is it November when they come on? Do you know, I really can't remember. You think I should know these things coming from Blackpool. But do you know what is in September? My birthday. Yeah, September is my birthday month. So I like to think of it as another year wiser. Yeah, the problem is busy than I thought it would be. I mean, it's, it is quiet, of course, but I expected it to be dead like a ghost town. But there's quite a lot of life. It's nice to see, I've got to say. I'm so glad I came out tonight. I was going to just go straight home from work because I was fairly tired, but I just thought, no, I'm going to go out and film, you know. Ooh, that's a push car, look at that. That is one nice car. I was going to give you a better look at it, but then I realised there was somebody sat inside and I really didn't want to just poke my camera into the view of some poor unsuspecting person who was just sat in their car minding their own business. Oh, 
well i think that is going to be it for this video now folks i hope you've enjoyed this prom walk i probably will film one more following straight on from this one but as far as this video goes thank you again for watching i mean really thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please you know just press that like button give me a like and maybe even subscribe if you're not already according to youtube something like 65 percent of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel just passing through i suppose just random people passing through and enjoying one video that is assuming you did enjoy it i guess if you're still here to hear me waffling on now you must have liked the video because you've stuck through it till the end so thank you for that and i will see you all very soon in the next one goodbye